Um, actually, it started with me. I was the youngest of four kids, and um, older brothers and sisters were always in 4-H, and we lived on a farm, so it was very natural for us to do that. But my dad was probably the, my dad and mom really, really believed in 4-H. They thought it was a very good uh, leadership opportunity for all of us, and so dad probably was, I don't remember my mom was actually in 4-H, but my dad was, and he had a, always had livestock and really enjoyed it. So then I got to take it over, and my husband was also in 4-H growing up, and now we've been able to share the experience and pass it on to our kids. I did clothing buymanship, clothing construction, cooking, and arts and crafts, and just participated in the model meetings, regular monthly meetings, and my favorite was probably decorating the float and being a part of the parade. I, was, would you? I grew up in Ohio, and, and I showed steers, goats, pigs, dogs, everything, just so I could take the whole week off of school. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Do you think that the fact that you were both in 4-H was a common bond that brought you together, that helped you to get to know each other better? The agriculture background yeah. was definitely a pull together. And, and my good looks. I've been working on that one. <laughs> How long? A couple months. But it's been fun. It's been a fun family experience for us, though. <laughs> with our kids um this year i will show a steer and two goats and then i also um am in foods and arts and crafts and what did you win um i got overall grand champion on my angel food cake and i'm showing a heifer and two goats this year and i'm also in foods and arts and crafts and what did you win Okay. Two oh, two purples and blue. That's so very far. Good. Yeah. So far, five. All right. I put my <laughs> head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world.